Hey guys, and welcome back to Let It Die. Um, so, there was a new update that they uh, kind of foreshadowed, but it's, it has not gone live yet. The update is right here. Um, sorry if my voice is a bit gritty. <laughs> have not spoke a single word today. Anywho, um, yeah, so this is the um, anniversary of Let It Die. Um, so, with the anniversary of Let It Die, uh, we already kind of went through it. Um, but they are gifting us a bunch of new events, also login rewards of golden tier things and, and etc. Anywho, the main thing of interest is that, um, which we're gonna go grab right now. Um, but essentially they are giving us, um, they're giving everyone who logs in, um, to the game before, I think it's January 6th or 20th? I'm not sure. You jump on right now as soon as you can and do what we're about to do now. Well, here's the thing. We already did this because I, yeah, <laughs> I stream let it die. And I kind of, I caved a little bit, and everyone was like, hey, get the glasses, do the things. And they were asking, like, questions like, how do I get said glasses? And I was like, oh, well, this is how you do it. And that's how you get me. <laughs> that's how you get me is when, when someone, like, uh, like changes the way the question is, and instead of, like, do this, they ask, like, but I'm confused. And then I'm like, oh, I'll try to help you. <laughs> it's... Anyways, long story short, we already got the glasses. Also, I'm messing up face cam because I'm rocking back and forth. But, um, I already got the glasses, I already leveled them up to max completion, which is a slightly disappointing thing. But anywho, um, when you jump into Let It Die, you will get a login reward that is the glasses themselves. Um, so you jump over here, and you'll be, one of the login rewards will be the glasses. Just these solid given glasses. You'll have these space fun glasses, um, in your inventory. Now, um, the, uh, when we first talked about this, I was actually kind of, uh, annoyed. Basically, just a lot of stuff that I, I always get annoyed by is lack of information or lack of, of specificity, I guess. Um, anyways, basically, I thought this is what we were getting, is a very durable piece of, uh, glasses. Um, and I was like, okay, I mean, it's neat, but it's gonna get destroyed because of the durability and broken. And especially with hip buffing stamina, which is not necessarily OP, but can be very good if you're having, like, a farming character. Anyways, I was like, that sucks. It doesn't seem like it's a god-tier piece of glasses, so why do you have to limit its use? Like I said, lack of information. Um, so yeah, we actually do get a blueprint. How you attain the blueprint for these, um, and it's very important that you do, is go over here, and there's going to be a daily, um, event mission, um, and it's a give-me mission. I don't know what it is. Oh. It's not gonna be here anymore, but essentially just scroll through this. You'll eventually see one that rewards you the fun space glasses or whatever. And the requirement on that is to kill one screamer. So it is pretty much just a give me. It said, hey, I played I play Let It Die um, at this given time, which is the given time of the year anniversary. Um, so do that. You get a, um, a very good piece of glasses. They're not overpowered, though. And let's get into that. Um, but on a, on a passive level, awesome. I completely take back what I said about like that, that being bullshit that we're not able to get the glasses because it's not overpowered. Um, and it's, it seems like it'd be a fair reward for sticking around with this game for a year. Anyways, you can, you can get the blueprint. So yeah, you're just gonna get the blueprint, um, or get the quest, go kill one screamer, come back down, boom, you got the blueprint, you're good. It's not, it's so aggravating. Anyways, and then, uh, you're gonna go over here, I did all this, <laughs> I'm just pantomiming everything to you. Um, uh, okay, so, you're gonna go over here to the glasses, um, and you're just going to level them up. Now, all that is required to level them up is Spilithium. I think it's like, uh, I think it starts off at 600 Spilithium, and then it goes into like a thousand, and then it goes into more and more and more. But, it does not have a final iteration, which is slightly disappointing. <laughs> um, so if we go over here... Um, you guys see that I have it, and I've leveled it up to tier 4. Now, when you level something up to tier 4, you get access to its next evolution, but sadly, this one doesn't have it. Now, that sucks, but the reason why I think that is, is because there is also a way to get another version of these glasses in the game. Of course, it's completely different stats, I believe, <laughs> so that's kind of weird. Um, but if, I think if you get... Oh, I don't know what it was. It was like an old reward. Uh, I do know you're. There was like some sort of a petition or something. One of the things that you could do. I'm not, I don't. Th I don't think it was killing the forceman. I think it was getting to the fortieth floor, or the fiftieth floor. It was something. It was something like that. And one of the rewards was getting a blueprint for Senpai, uh, his hypnotizing glasses, and which would make sense because every time an arm uh, uh, armor evolves, it changes its style a little bit. Which would make sense that, that that is this one's next style or next evolution. 
Um, so that's probably why they did it. They didn't want to, but then again, no one got that. No one has those glasses. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was super like a, uh, yeah, it was such a niche, like, fuck, I don't know what it was. I just remember, like, some of the things that they try to hide behind exclusivity. Some things in Let It Die, they hide, like, really cool looking stuff behind, a, like, a very niche play group. You know what I mean? Basically, like, uh, like these glasses or, like, Senpai Death Scythe or, like, the Jackal Armor and stuff like that. They put all of these things behind like a, a super grind wall and there's no way you really can, you can breach it besides just keep and fucking pounding the thing to the dirt to the dirt. Um, and with an RNG game that just enhances that time if some people can get lucky and get everything and sure. Um, but I don't know. I, I feel like again like the one thing that I love is the chargers because it's usually pretty tame. You know what they ask for is not too crazy. Um, which brings us to the next thing which is this. You know what? Just, no, that's stupid. <laughs> I, I only need four more steel, and I can get four more steel. I was gonna be like, hey, I'll, I'll put a clip in here of us getting this. But it literally would just be me clicking, yes, I want it. Bink, and then that's it. And that seems like like redundant and too much. <laughs> okay. It would offer no real satisfaction. And the next Ledge Ivy, I'll showcase um, the level four version of this. That's a shitty thing, is I still need, after this, I still need to get uh, three more milk green medals, which is a bit annoying. Um, and I need to get another four red medals, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> so, ah, ah. Uh, but I'm close. I'm close. After that point, we do have a tier five weapon. And I really hope it doesn't ask for anything like the Forcemans have. If it does, then, well, we're fucking thrown in the towel for this weapon. <laughs> but I And we're even closer to attaining. This one, actually, I think we can probably just get. Yeah. Yeah, we have enough DoD red, and we have enough scratch. The only thing we need is cotton and steel. And we can get this up to tier five. Is this more resistant than this? Oh my god, actually, it probably is get. Yeah, it probably will be. God damn. <laughs> when this gets to its. When this, sorry, <laughs> this right here gets to its next evolution. Huh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> we probably should get on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't. I just kind of wanted to make sure you guys knew how to get it and make sure you guys do. It's kind of like a notification of like, hey, get these glasses. All right, even if you kind of put down the game, it doesn't hurt to turn on the game real quick, get the mission, bop, 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 get it, and leave. <laughs> Uh, because, yeah, dude, it, this game has been a whole trip. Yeah, this is the year anniversary. Might as well talk about, like, a recap of Let It Die. And it, we've done this, like, thousands of times on the channel. <laughs> because living through the glory days is a fun thing. Oh, thank you so much, person. <laughs> Who did that? Gifted me that. Thank you so much. Um, oh, by the way, it is actually Christmas Day today. I have no idea when this is getting to you. But if it is, if, yeah. <laughs> uh, Merry Holidays. Hopefully got everything you wanted for either Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so let it die. Let, let's quickly talk about that. This being the year anniversary of let it die <laughs> Personally, I find the way things fall into place Hilarious sometimes and it's always really weird um, Like a lot of the games because because when you're doing video creation and I'm sorry to mix in like the the commending let it die is a game but then also criticizing, of course, like I always do. Um, but also pr talking about the whole YouTube aspect of it, because it is that's that was my experience with it, right? Um, that was my year in um, anniversary or the year of Let It Die. I guess what I'm trying to say, it, and, and I, I've said it before, I don't mean to come across as like cynical when I talk about stuff like this. But it was um, games like when you're making videos, um, you typically want to try to think of an idea for a video and then then try to add to it. Um, and then the more I, I started making videos, I realized that there's something else missing from that. And that's that if you are a creator, if you are a video creator, a content creator, um, you should never let that, that's like the main thing. So say you want to do anything. Um, and I think that's what I should be focusing on is this, but say, um, you're like, man, I really like insert game, but it's, it just wouldn't work. And you know, it's not trendy right now. It's not this and that and that and this. I feel like you should kind of throw, throw that away because it's kind of like a weak ass response. So, so again, say if you say let it die, maybe I was like, Hey, I want to play this game because I don't think it would get that many views. No one's really talking about it. It's kind of a niche. I just don't want to, I don't think it will do well on YouTube. So why make a video about it? Um, well, me being stubborn, when I first started making Let It Die videos, I was like, fuck it, this looks really neat, and I think I can make, like, one or two videos off, off of it, and then just kind of stop, because, yeah, it seemed like a pretty taxing and, and like, grind, not grindy, it, it seemed like a game that was hard for the sake of being hard, not hard for the sake of being challenging or fun. Um, I was wrong, kind of, but still. Anyways, I feel like a better way to look at, like, videos and stuff like that that you actually personally want to make but maybe don't think will do as well I think you should take that 
on you as a creator. You know what I mean? So, so like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, I think, so say again with the example of Let Die. I don't think it will do well. It's kind of a niche. It's, yeah, but I really want to play it. Okay, well, instead of, you know, coming up with all these reasons of, of you know, that it wouldn't work, you're a fucking content creator. Make it work. Figure out a way to make it interesting. Whatever you want to do that is that you find interesting or you are passionate about, try to figure out a way to make it interesting. Try to kill the dead silence. Try to you know, comment about about things that you think the community would want to that are or voices that aren't being heard, etc. And and talk about the the ways that you can kind of overcome these challenges via spending a time in certain attributes, etc. Like basically, instead of just saying this wouldn't work, as a creator, it's your job to make it work. Um. And it's proven immensely that people are are in, they enjoy when someone is enjoying something. Like I'm very much a believer of that. I personally love that. I, I'm subscribed to channels that do like camping stuff. <laughs> I'm subscribed to channels that do like vlog stuff. I'm subscribed to every YouTube channel that probably does and every and anything. I'm subscribed to a knife making channel where the dude just makes knives. <laughs> um, and the reason why I don't really have an interest in any of these things, but it's because the person that's doing them is so goddamn passionate about what they're doing that I immediately get uh, excited with them. Almost like a contact high from being near the person that's happy. Um, it, it's kind of like that that weirdness. Um, and that to me is something that I, because I, I always look at it from the other aspect of it, where um, I could say say it like I just said it, which is when you have an idea that you want to, you know, do, and you really want to do something, maybe it's make a, um, a live action thing, or maybe in my case, it's playing a video game that I wasn't sure was going to do well. Um, and at the time, I just said, fuck it, I want to play this game, so I'm going to play it. I didn't really do it for this reason, but then I, I look back on it, and I think, yeah, no, I eventually just started, I tried to make Let It Die successful, and I tried to to make this niche something that not just one person that plays video games could enjoy, but instead everyone. Like, again, I tried not to, like, perpetuate the narrative of I'm really good at video games and, and this is super easy and etc. I tried to, to make jokes constantly. I tried to be goofy in a game that is kind of goofy, but when you're up top side, less goofy, a little bit more serious when you start climbing. <laughs> uh, so I tried to be even, I tried to enjoy that and take it with a light, lighthearted approach. And, it, and people ended up liking it, which is fun. But like I was saying, there's either that way of it's your it's on you as a creator to make what you enjoy fun and interesting. Um, or you could look at it the way I, I sometimes kind of look at it. And this is like real cynical. But like um, you could look at it from a, a perspective of why does every game that I don't think is going to be successful or every video that I don't think is going to be that good end up being the most successful but all these videos that I plan and I try real hard to make them something. I got Harper. <laughs> um, there, they don't end up really doing much, um, which is kind of a, of a weird and like it's not a negative headspace. It's just a very honest one, one where it's like it's just I, like that's a pattern that I'm seeing, um, and that's that's like the pattern I've been seeing since forever. And it's only recently where I've been like, well, maybe stop being so goddamn depressing <laughs> and cynical about it, and look at it from a perspective of, well, no, I think the reason why those videos did really well is two reasons. One, like I've been mentioning, is you really enjoyed something and then you made it, you tried to make it good. The second thing is something that I've heard a long time ago and I think it's pretty, like, it's, it's kind of sad, but it's real accurate. And it's the person that cares the least in a given situation has the most control of said situation. It's kind of like the quote where it's like, the most dangerous person is a person that has nothing left to lose, that kind of situation. It's like more intense, <laughs> but similar beat. To where again, if you if you look at a situation where you're like, this is I'm here, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do, and that's it. Opposed to a person that overthinks things and tries to like add too much or it feels kind of forced. When something feels natural, I think a lot of people pick up on that. Um, and that to me is kind of more or less let it die <laughs> at times because it, you kind of can't. You know what I mean? Like there were, there are videos in the past where I was like, okay, I have to do this. I don't really do them too much anymore. But with Let It Die, it kind of wasn't that. It was kind of that perception of like, listen, I'm getting thrown into this world, and you guys have seen me. I've gotten pissed. I've gotten real mad. I didn't like censor myself. I didn't stop myself from doing whatever. And I, I this is a game that pulls like the real honest you out <laughs> because it is so challenging and, and unforgiving. Challenging, I wouldn't say that. Challenging, I think I can rise to the occasion. Unforgiving is something that I always feel like it doesn't create a good feeling. It creates a feeling of like the world's stacking against you which honestly if you're in this environment long enough you start to 
you start to love, but in a given amount. <laughs> um, so again, like when I was first climbing the Tower of Barbs, um, and I seen like say anyone spawn or whatever, a, a hunter tried to get me. I loved being like, okay, this piece of shit's trying to get me. I can bob and weave and, and book it. And I just got up by the skin of my teeth, um, and I was able to pass them. And I was like, haha, I overcome that that huge unforgiving obstacle. But uh, I mean, and with like bosses, it was the same way. It was like, okay, I I don't have enough strength to like melt you, but I do have the uh, I do have the information and the knowledge to outsmart you. So I, I'm going to farm for these specific mushrooms to outsmart you and overcome you based on those. Um, and let's see if that works. And it worked. And then you, you overcome that challenge now. Um, and let it die. I feel like, especially with the updates, they've narrowed that, that field of creation. Um, which I, of course, I'm not a fan of. Like, again, with the nerfing of mushrooms, with, the, with, with everything like that, I feel like they've just kind of made it so, like, you have to do it this way. Which it very much... That was never a roguelike shooter, right? I thought a roguelike shooter was supposed to be a place where you could, like, you had multiple ways to get around something. It required different types of skill and etc. And that, to me, when the de when Let It Die first came out, was that kind of thing, where it had multiple different avenues to get to your destination. Um, in terms of, like, how to beat bosses, how well, well, weapons were good and applicable. Now, now it's very much like you have four weapons at endgame that you should use, and if you don't use, you're at a massive disadvantage. You know what I mean? It kind of feels skewed um, but yeah that was that was just the thing I, I wanted to talk about and I did <laughs> which was the whole concept of like why let it die was successful on my channel and you know me trying to rationalize it it could just been like a one-off fuck it no one was playing this game I was playing it and it had a, an audience and that audience came and checked out my videos and etc that could have also been the case for sure I'm not like this I've thought about that immensely um, but the only reason I say it's more of the all uh, the latter the one I mentioned um, is because uh, I've like every video on my channel, uh, Battleborn, um, Let It Die, um, Destiny One when it first came out. Um, what was it? There was another game. Uh, oh, uh, the m m the one video on my channel that has a stupid amount of views, and it's by far the worst video ever made. Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide were both like the videos where I made stupid, horrible, stuttery, fucking abysmal <laughs> uh, videos. On, uh, on just telling people how to build their characters and how to mess around and, and what weapons you should use and like, oh, I really like this weapon, guys. Ha <laughs> ha. I had a less less deep voice, <laughs> so it was real bad. Um, but hey, a lot of people were like, hey, I like this. And again, I think it was because even though I did stumble and shit, I did really like want to make those videos. And again, Battleborn especially was one of those games where I was like, fuck it. <laughs> ah. Um, and yeah, I went to the same thing with that. Which, by the way, I'm, I know that, like, warrants a person being like, Oh, well, if, if that works for you, the whole, like, just fuck it, who cares um, about whatever video you're doing. Um, if that works, that mindset, then why don't you stay in that mindset? It's pretty hard. Again, like, it, it's really hard to to try really hard and to keep keep progressing and keep improving as a human being. But then also keeping calm, keeping confident, and keeping like water, I guess. Like, you know, you, it's real hard to keep those two things because they're polar opposites. One is yin and one is yang. It's like completely different. Uh, but together, they're strong as shit. But uh, you can't, that's why you try, I try to balance them out as much as I can. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, that was, I want to talk about that because that is very much what Let It Die was for my channel. It was this huge boom. Like, that was one of the main reasons why my channel got pretty good um, in terms of like viewership uh, this, this whole time. Yeah, it's just the weirdest thing. Again, I, I feel like the the best luck I've ever had on my channel is when I don't care and I try to make what I want, but then via self-conscious nature and wanting to make good content, I somehow try to find a way to make that better. <laughs> I wouldn't say good, <laughs> try to make that better. Um, and this isn't me like trying to be like, oh, I'm so great. This is me just trying to make sense of, of, of why <laughs> something is the way it is. Anyways, um, as of Let Die, um, again, I would say my favorite po part in Let It Die is floor 1 to 20. When you're first starting that game, enjoy that climb because it's so awesome. It's so perfect and it, again, there's thousands of way you, ways you can complete your objective and there's no penalty. Um, really, you can just enjoy it. Um, even now, it, like I can't go back and experience that. I couldn't like get a level 1 character and go do that thing again. That's not possible, sadly. <laughs> it's really sad. But um, uh, the climb was awesome. And again, like uh, the one thing I always, I always loved was the outsmarting of the game, which they've taken away. Because essentially, like outsmarting the game means that you don't die as much, meaning you don't pay as many microtransactions, meaning that's less money for the company, so they're trying to do that. I think. I don't mean to talk, like, for sure. I just, that makes sense to me in, like, terms of, like, business 
and whatnot. I loved when they started to introduce chargers. I thought I was like, oh, okay, this is really cool because this seems like a thing that everyone can really enjoy and get on board and like, you know, everyone likes to see new armors and to see them evolve. Hell yeah, all this seems great. But then a little bit down the line, they started to release Forcemen. Um, and I was like, okay, I kind of get it, but I also, I have, like, I realize that they're trying to appease the, the normal, play the game every now and then kind of gamer. They're also trying to appease the hardcore, which I think is fine. But I also think that that's a bit weird because if you ever take, like, the hardcore audience from a video game, it's significantly less, especially for a game like this, I would wager that, that that's less um, than, than the casual. There's, like, casual and then there's a hardcore. Um, in this game, the hardcore... Well, no, I wouldn't even say that. Okay, I would say that there's people who like to just play the game and enjoy it, um, and, and etc. And then there's people who like the game and enjoy it, but specifically for difficult the difficulty aspect of the game. Now, uh, I thought that this was going to kind of be a balance. I don't think it like it's changed into something else. And maybe they have statistics and let it die that, that show that like people love the hard the gameplay. No one maybe maybe no one uh, did Chargers. You know that that may be the case. I don't see the data. But maybe everyone did the Forceman. Um, I don't think that's exactly true because I, I think I remember uh, I seen a stat somewhere that it said like less than like what is it 10% or something of the population of Let Die have beaten the game. And I don't think you're gonna you're gonna what do you call it, do the charges before you beat the game? Maybe, but I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Anyways, so they started releasing some Forcemen. And simultaneously, they started to release Chargers. And I was like, okay, I kind of see the way they're balancing it. Hardcore, um, casual. Um, but then they released the next couple floors. And that's where I was kind of like, okay, now you're confusing me. Because they released the uh, the floor 40 to 50. And it was like tailor-made for like ball-crushing difficulty and, and like a super big negative. Um, meaning if you died up there, you had to pay a fuck ton of money to get your character back. Um, so that to me, everything about the 40 and up floors are like painstakingly diehard difficulty driven things. Um, so to me, I was like, man, I, I'm not, I, maybe it's just me, but I don't think that's how that's statistically made. Uh, meaning I think the, the people who enjoy chargers, the people who enjoy like leveling up their armor and casually the casual, I guess the people who still play their game hardcore, um, grind it. Cause anyone who plays this game has to play kind of hardcore cause it's a grindy game. Um, but they don't necessarily love the extraordinarily difficult, unforgiving nature of this aspect. But you've clearly built so much content, so, so much content for the people that I do not think are the majority. So that's where I get weird with the way Let It Die has been going. And uh, yeah, that's where that's where I've been kind of like, I'm not sure if I, I, I enjoy the way it's going. Just because, again, it's not because I don't think, again, if, I, if they were to be like, here's statistics um, that show that no one did chargers, but everyone's doing white steel. Um, I'd be like, okay, you know, clearly I was incorrect. My assumption was wrong, but I've always come from the assumption that uh, Not a lot of people have completed white steel Like if you were to take the current average of people playing right now and say how many people on average have completed white steel I think it'd be significantly lower than most things. You know what I mean? Um, even like the first charger white steel not not like the gun girl or the the mage <laughs> I'm talking about that one. So it seems weird that they're making content for like a quarter of their audience, you know what I mean? I feel like you should make content for the for the one audience. Um, like, I would always love um, in Let Die if there was some, like, battle arena, you know what I mean? And, like, you go and you keep, you basically just play until you uh, until you die. And, I, I don't know, man. I wouldn't mind if it was, like, you had to pay $10,000 for a character back. <clears throat> but if it was, like, it's always, like, 200000 which is, like... That's like literally my entire wallet right now. Yeah, it's almost my entire wallet. It's two hundred thousand dollars. It's like Jesus. That's just my outlook on the the state of Let It Die in terms of where it's showing that it's gonna try to go. And I'm a bit curious to see if that's the, exactly the right path. <laughs> um, I've I voiced that many times. Um, to good and negative avails. I've I've I, th I feel like throughout the course of Let It Die, I've been both critical but also fanboy if at the same time. Which I don't think is a good, <laughs> like, I feel like you should either, I, I don't know, I feel like you, in wrestling, you either play the good guy, or what is it called, the stain? Or, I don't know, it's like the bad guy, basically. And playing both just doesn't really work. I try to, because I try to show both sides of like, I love this, I think this is awesome, and this is why I don't agree with this. And again, I always, I read a fuck ton of you guys' comments, they always pop up on my phone. 
Um, I see a bunch of people being like, especially when I, I do streams of Let It Die, um, of people being like, and I just I just died, uh, or I just did white steel and got coins. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but as of Let It Die, at, um, at a whole, uh, this game is awesome. Um, again, I love Grasshopper Manufacturer as a company. Um, uh, I always say Gohan. They're the publisher, I think. Um, Grasshopper is the people who make the game, who like stylize it and do a whole nine yards. Um, so I love them dearly for that. Um, again, Grasshopper Manufacturer have made like the games that are up there for one of the best games to me. Um, like again, I was looking up um, Shadows of the Dam gameplay because I was like, is this as good as I remember or is this nostalgia eating me away? Nah, it looks awesome. Also, Killer is Dead. Also, Lollipop Chainsaw, they also made like, God, they're just a fucking amazing... Uh, they make the weirdest, coolest games to me. Um, and I, I always, I really, like, to me, it's the funnest thought to think of, like, what Let It Die would be if it was a $60 game that was, uh, that was up, updated. You know what I mean? I think that'd be really interesting to see. Because I, because I feel like a lot of the changes and the patches that were made and the things that made this game really cool for me, like, again, outsmarting something or a mechanic or something like that, have been nerfed. Like, I, I've been doing expeditions like crazy. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if they mentioned it, but I think they completely destroyed the spawn rates for pill bugs. Like, completely. Um, I haven't seen a pill bug in forever. And they used to spawn really, really, f like, all over the place. Um, so, you know, it's just more things that are, they're, like, making it more, like, they want you to die more, you know what I mean? Which, I don't know why you wouldn't instead, like, sell cosmetic outfits more. <laughs> I mean, it seems like you can create those with relative speed. I don't know. To me, it's a weird, like, a thing. Like, I would rather pay for a skin or a different looking armor than, than for the, just the passive die more <laughs> subtitle <laughs> that is in everything that is everything. It's supposed to, it's let it die. Not let my, not, not kill myself <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching as always. Again, um, I love this game of tears and I'll probably do my best to keep covering it. Um, again, there gets a point to where maybe if they keep going down that path of, like, tons of difficulty oriented of, like, people that love challenge aspect of the game, they keep patching in, like, updates like that. And, like, I've, I've, I have I've already haven't shown you guys White Seal stuff. I already haven't shown you guys the first 40 plus floors. Not because I don't think it's a cool thing, but just because it's, to me, it's not worth the payout. And that's something I feel like they haven't really done with a lot of the updates. May without... The only exception is being the TDM. The TDM has been one of the best updates ever. It made it like it completely reworked it, made it applicable. I hope that they do that to the base game at some point. But I would definitely suggest turning into the Gohan stream um, on January, which hopefully they'll be covering what they're going to be doing in the coming years or year. Um, and yeah, wild, wild guys. It's been a whole trip. I don't have much to say besides the stuff that I've said. <laughs> I've said a lot. Love this game. Hopefully, you guys stick around with this game with me. Um, I know a lot of you guys have dipped off because of the changes and the and the, the annoyances and the lack there of reward for certain people. I get that. I get that completely. Um, and for those of you guys who still watch my videos and you know put up with me <laughs> and and yeah, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you a lot. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always. The subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. This year has been amazing, and hopefully 2018 is going to be that much better. Thank you guys so much, and bye guys.